Welcome ladies and gentlemen at the analysis of this channel. I appreciate so much because of the great work that you're doing when it comes to supporting the analysis of this channel. If you're a visitor, do me a favor, ensure that you subscribe to this channel. Now, yesterday, Kenya Kwanzaa Brigades came out addressing the country when it comes to the allegations that our ports were being mortgaged. And one thing that came into my mind, and I asked myself certain question, was this press briefing from Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade were, uh, were beneficial or was that briefing uh, evidential and was that briefing something that was giving us clarification? But when I was looking at the definition of mortgage and I decided to uh, search for you and uh, when it comes to the way they were arguing that our ports has been, uh, they have been mortgaged, I decided to bring, before I start, I bring the definition of a mortgage. Then according to the meaning of mortgage is that is a legal agreement is a legal agreement by which a bank, building society, ETC, lends money at interest in exchange for taking titles of the debtor's property with the condition that the conveyance of the title becomes void upon the payment of debt. And of course, you see, when... I was <laughs> like looking upon what Musalia Mudavadi and the brigades were saying, introducing this issue where three ports, they are accusing Uhuru Kenyatta and of course his counterpart Raila Odinga involving when it comes to this issue of ports being mortgaged, where we are having Mombasa port, we are having Lamu port and Kisumu port where Kenya Kwanza Alliance has come out, led by Musalia Mdabadi, accusing uh, Uhuru that he has auctioned Kenyan's sports. So I want us to listen to whatever Mdabadi is telling us, then we continue at that point. ...of Kenya cannot be auctioned by one person in a manner akin to disposal of private personal property. In conclusion, in the light of the foregoing, we wish to go on record and call out the President of Kenya on this matter. There's a famous saying, we all know that if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then probably it is a duck. <laughs> From the shortcuts we have exposed, the auction of our ports look like corruption. It is swimming like corruption. It is shouting like corruption. And it is certainly corruption. <laughs> Kenyans are probably <clears throat> staring at the biggest corruption scandal ever. It is a clever machination mm. to flee. So after that, I have listened to that video. It's showing a clarity. Is Musalia Mudavadi genuine? Where he was in a front line, leading Kenya Kwanzaa brigades, talking about this issue of Mombasa port, Lamu port, and Kisumu port, not knowing the beneficial that this port has brought when it comes to benefits that Kenyans are benefiting from these Mombasa port, Lamu port, port and Kisumu ports. What I have understood when it comes to the allegations that Musalia Mudavadi and their brigades Kenya Kwanzaa has come out to allege that Uhuru Kenyatta 
is auctioning the Kenyan ports. I think this is not something that is out from politics. This is just pure politics to just try to paint Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga as people who are involving themselves in corruption, people who are deciding whatever they want as the country is their home or uh, as if certain decisions that could have been involved in public, they are the one to decide whatever is happening. But when I was looking at, um, again, the response of Ukuru Yatani, after Musalia Mudavadi at the brigades came out to allege that Uhuru Kenyatta was um, uh, auctioning the pots, Ukuru Atani said this, that nothing has been done yet. This is a statement of intent. These are just things we are looking at. We have not conferred any benefit or any authority at the moment. If along the way, there is going to be any demand on us that is of no benefit to our country or there is go, uh, going to be unfair advantage to Dubai port or any uh, port, we are not going to go about it. And that is the statement of Kuru Atani and will continue saying that the authority does not lie with the minister or one more arm of government. It goes into a very elaborate process where all the necessary, all the persons, stakeholders are going to automate this process. There are no plans to privatize anything. And that is what Okuru Atani responded to uh, Musalia Mudavadi. So then after, uh, after that accusation of Musalia Mudavadi, Wetangula came out again promising to bring more evidence about corruption, including Mombasa Express Highway, highway that there was a lot of corruption. So listen to Moses Swetangula. The incoming government by August this year will not countenance, and we will, and we want to tell them clearly, that they may ignore this statement for now. After 10th August, it will be a different ball game. And you all know that we have other stinging transactions that will much sooner than later be releasing in small doses to them for Kenyans to know the saga behind the expressway and many other things. Thank you. So after listening to also Musal, uh, Moses Wetangula, this was a pure politics. No one can, can come out in the midst of where we are remaining just with 40 days to elections. The only person that is being accused is Uhuru Kenyatta and his counterpart Raila Odinga, where Wetangula is promising to bring out certain corruptions that Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga and their brigades, they have been involving themselves that this group of Azimio, they are not genuine. That everything that they do is something that is benefiting themselves. So I wonder whatever these Kenya brigades led by Moses Wetangula are coming out, seeing that there are more evidence when it comes to the corruption of Mombasa Expressway. What I ask, ladies and gentlemen, if they are concurring that there is corruption in Mombasa Expressway, why can't they uh, give us evidence or why is it that at the moment where election is going to be uh, done, they are not coming to paint the bad picture of Uhuru Kenyatta and the bad picture of Raila Odinga. So it means this pure politics. And furthermore, Alfred Mutua asking President and Raila Odinga to clarify who is the owner of the company that has been given a tender when it comes to the ports, the way ports are operating and the way ports are being uh, handled across the Republic of Kenya. Where we are having Kisumu port, Mombasa port and Lamp port and other ports across the Republic of Kenya. So listen to Alfred Mutua. Yeah, is that 
this is a mega corruption scandal and we would like the players especially in the Azimio team led by their chairman the president Uru Mwage Kenyatta and their presidential candidate Raila Odinga to tell us who really owns this company purported to be from the UAE who are the players we have more information but we'd like them to come out and tell Kenyans what is their role in this from a county's perspective counties are supposed to be involved the Council of Governors, we are not aware of these deals. These are things that are happening in the dark. This is nothing that just Azimio or Okora. They are trying to mortgage our country, take things away from us last minute. And we urge them and we tell them clearly that there should be no more deals done. Actually, you shouldn't do any deals within six months of handing over our government. It is totally illegal. You know, it is improper. Within six months of handing over government, don't enter into deals. It is quite scary because we do not know what other areas of so in fact the way you have understood what alfred mutua is bringing out as per the question that he asking raila and uhuru kenyatta to give the evidence or clarify who is the owner of the company why is alfred mutua is coming out to ask such a question is because this kenya kwanza alliance brigades they believe that the owners of the company that has been given tenders, these are people amongst Uhuru Kenyatta's brigade and Raila Odinga's brigade. So they are feeling like they are being sabotaged. They are feeling like they are not involved. They are feeling like they have not been uh, consulted. And when it comes to decision making, they are, not, uh, uh, they are not part of that decision making. So Alfred Mutua to ask President Raila Odinga to clarify is that they are feeling like they are not part of that decision. So again, furthermore, when they are continuing, I listened to Aiden Dwelly <laughs> confirming that the issue had been clarified by Okuru Yotani was not genuine that was already been decided and things were moving on. So listen to Eden Duane. Missing the point. We have a letter, and I'm sure if you read this letter by the Minister for National Treasury, Okuri Atani, dated 30th of March 2022, where in, in one of its paragraphs, says the Attorney General, who is a legal advisor of government, has already declared this. The matter we are discussing is a matter where national assets and security assets have been transferred to a foreign company in violation of all the issues the Honorable Musadim Javadi has raised, public participation, parliament role, the role of counties in terms of the, their functions of, in the schedule, then after listening to Eden Duali, I was shocked because this was now pure politics. Pure, why am I saying this is pure politics? Because when listening to Eden Duali, then listening to Alice Wahome, then Anwe Guru, is showing a clarity as per what we are seeing Musalem Davadi and their brigades stated when it comes to what they are alleging that Uhuru Kenyatta is auctioning our pots. What I do understand is that when Uhuru Kenyatta assumed the office as the President of the Republic of Kenya, there were certain issues and big problems when it comes to these pots. But that energy that Uhuru Kenyatta put on place to ensure that these pots were coming back the way it was supposed to be I think Uhuru Kenyatta has repaired certain uh, ports and they're functioning and they're benefiting, uh, bringing a lot of benefits to uh, our country. So, for example, let us go to Kisumu port. Kisumu port was as dormant, but after Uhuru's intervention and uh, effort to ensure that this port was going to be renovated, is now working, giving common money from Kisumu a beneficial when it comes to whatever they are looking for. When it comes to Mombasa port and uh, 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 other ports in uh, Mombasa, uh, in the coastal region, is a true indication also that Uhuru Kenyatta made more effort to ensure that these ports were going to be renovated, 
revamped and was going to come back as per whatever we are seeing today. So far, to bring out as Kenya Kwanzaa lands that this was just corruption, the, the tender was not advertised, that it was privatized. The question that I ask, these people are owning certain companies that could have been doing this work. That is why they're feeling like when it comes to the decision making, when it comes to tenders, they were not involved. So Uhuru Kenyatta to try to keep or to part ways with William Ruto when it comes to this issue of ports, now Ruto is feeling like he is now not part of that uh, the access of ports. So Ruto is being denied the access to understand whatever is being done when it comes to these ports across the Republic of Kenya. So ladies and gentlemen, I think you have understood whatever is coming out. This statement from Salim Davidi's brigade and Kenya Kwanza Alliance, this was just pure politics to paint Uhuru Kenyatta as a bad leader, a president that is uh, destroying our country and also destroying Raila Odinga as a name, as a person that should not be elected as the President of the Republic of Kenya. So what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion in the comment section below. Otherwise, I appreciate so much because of your support. If you're a visitor, please subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye till you meet on another video. To stink to the heavens and back that the government of Kenya Kwanza will not be bound to, to respect or even to implement these contracts. You see, they are long-term contracts because they are illegal, they are unconstitutional. We shall not respect the contracts. We shall disregard them. And those purported beneficiaries who are actually people from this country in top leadership as stated, will have to meet the expenses of cancellations of those contracts. To look on, on Akuru and Kisumu, to look at which coalition has their interests at heart, especially because of this matter, and vote for the Kenya Kwanzaa, because they can see that this coalition that is currently uh, being managed by the current government definitely does not care for them, them as counties, as the people at, the, at these regions, and also the people of Kenya. Thank you. Thank you.